So, Dubai day two, and we're going to go and visit what today? Um, the Jumeirah Beach, and have a look at the Burj Al Arab. Yeah. Super Madonna. Super and, Madonna. And um, the Dubai Marina. And Dubai Marina. That's what we're going to do today. Off we go. It's nice, isn't it? Full of expats. So one of the few public beaches. The rest are all owned by the hotels. And it's not too packed. Like it's quite peaceful. No. Do you know we should be wearing white? White. It's the rule of this walk. How did you get that? Oh. Well, look. Just from what I can perceive in front of me right now. weird person. What? But that is a lovely stretch of Arabian Sea. But these, what are they? What are they? So this beach is popular like with expats and like joggers and key fit people and people just bringing their families. You have a juice bar there. Look at this. I didn't expect the public beach to be so long and expansive. This is great. So I'm just having a walk along the beach to this rocky outcrop to see what lies beyond. Maybe some tropical fish. Maybe not. You can see the Burj Al Arab in the distance. We're gonna walk a bit closer to it. These are not as treacherous as they seem, actually quite quite nice to walk on, quite easy. But look. Downtown Dubai, the Burj Khalifa poking out the top. So we've walked about 10 minutes to this little area with a nice cafe. And this is where all the rich people moor their um, yachts. Oh yeah, I can see some fish down there. They're not very tropical. How clear that water is. Ooh, we're in action. Let's go. Let's see what expensive burgers in Dubai are like. What? We've managed to order four burgers. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, they're sliders. Is that why? They're tiny. They're smaller burgers. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Hit or miss. All right. All right. So that's the burgers done, and. We're going to leave this beach, but before we do, Celine's going to give some facts about the Burj Al Arab. Um, it opened in 1999. It's yep. the fifth tallest hotel in the world. Fifth. Fifth. Right. Um, the cheapest room per night is $2,000 and the most expensive is $24,000. Yeah, I know. I paid that once. Um, David Cother did donuts um, in an F1 car on the helipad there. And the design of it is like in the shape of like a sailboat. Yeah. Anyway, that's this beach done. Now we're going to head to a souk, but it's not a real one. It's like a it's a it's a it's a posh one, Madinat Souk, I think it's called. But we'll have a look around there. So we've just come to Souk Madinat Jumeirah, which, according to this article, is a modern take on a traditional souk. So it's not old, it's not ancient, but it's what they potentially think it looks like. Look at the birch. Feast your eyes. Here we go. Air conditioned Arabia. Imagine. It's actually <coughs> massive. Let's buy it. You buy it, I'm not buying it. Will they post it? 
Royal Mail. Not okay. this postal strike? True. Maybe we should get this one instead. Wow. That is a big beast of burden. Passing all the restaurants. Tell you what, December weather is just gorgeous. Yeah. It's a perfect time to come to Dubai. Looks quite authentic in a Dubai bling sort of way. So there's a Santa going past on a gondola, which is a sentence you don't normally hear. And he must be boiling hot with his suit on. Poor Santa, that is not a nice thing to wear in this temperature. And I should know because I was once Santa in Qatar. I hated every minute of it. It's like being in a castle. So this is Christmas, Dubai style. You can get your mulled wine eight pounds and get a beer and get the stalls look at this fake snow we have spied an irish bar um what's it called yeah, mcgedigan's i'm surprised you didn't see that on the way in and i'm addicted to guinness if i get a guinness oh my god and there's a guy there he's got something black in a pint glass. I can almost taste it. The question is, how much is it going to cost? I reckon £12 for a pint. Minimum. Minimum. Hi. Hello. How are you today? Good. How are you? Thank you for waiting. No problem. Yes. Um, we don't mind where we sit. We just basically want a pint to get us. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. I saw it. I saw it in my own eyes. I can see it there. Thank you. Let's see what Guinness in Dubai is like. Nice. Yeah. Until I see the price, but yeah, for now. So the bills arrived. It wasn't quite as much as I thought. Still pricey though. 10 quid for a pint of Guinness in Dubai. There you go. So, 15 minutes down the road. The marina. This looks nice. And I think the marina area of Dubai is like a fairly new part. Um, I think it's got about 55,000 residents. But obviously they're aiming for much more than that because there's construction still going on. You can hear it over there. So yeah, when it's ready, it's going to be amazing. This is good. Do you reckon you could live in Dubai? Yes and no. I think I know what you mean. I think like the cost of living would drive me a bit nuts after a while. And not really that gone and the whole like glitz and glamour of everything but I like how it's quite easy to live here yeah and the temperature yeah but it's, not, it's only it's the, nice only, now like, the temperature is nice now it's not it's, it's yeah in the summer it'll be horrendous and the other one I liked it when I lived in so I think we're about done in Dubai tomorrow we fly to freezing cold Budapest but what has been the best part of Dubai for you on these last two days? Um, randomly, I think it's the view of the Burj Khalifa from our hotel. Really? Yeah. That is a great view, actually, especially at night. I was surprised by how good the frame was. That was that's been the highlight for me, the frame. Because I've never done it before. I like walking along the walkway at the top where it's glass and you can see right down underneath. Yeah. But I think I found it more impressive from the outside than inside. Yeah, like a lot of things. So that's it. Goodbye from Dubai tomorrow, Budapest.